So Simon, we're having a chat ahead of the return home fixture against Connacht. You were back on the field after after coming back from injury last weekend. How did that go and how are you feeling yourself now that you're, you're back to full fitness? Uh, I think, you know, we put in an okay performance out there in Connacht. Like we said, we had a lot of opportunities, but sort of our own in inaccuracies really caused our downfall and ill-discipline as well wasn't, uh, wasn't great. So... I think the boys are pretty frustrated with their performance, but are looking forward to, it's not every week that you get the same team the next week, so looking forward to the challenge down here on Sunday. And how are you feeling yourself? Sort of when you did unfortunately get injury, you were, you were flying high, sort of three full 80 minute performances, top of the defenders beaten, sort of really sort of, from a statistics point of view, the club's most important attacker. So are you feeling you're around about there coming back? Um, yeah, it was unfortunate to get picked up a little uh, knock to my ankle against Exeter. Um, so yeah, I had a couple of weeks out with that and then got a couple of games in the A-team, which was really good. Uh, had a great win against Worcester, sort of 75-20 down here. So I think that's really helped me get back to match fitness and obviously Tate has been doing a really good, really good job at fullback. So it's nice to get an opportunity last week and hopefully again this week. And you said there about sort of last week in the the indiscipline and a little bit of frustration with that. Has that been the focus this week or has it been more just sort of making sure that you, you hit your marks and, and get everything right? Yeah, I think sort of we talked about it on Monday um, about sort of the penalties we gave away and also just bits of organisation and sort of bits of our problems with handling and things like that. But I think the focus this week's really been sort of getting our own back down here, I think. Uh, just focusing on ourselves, like you can do as much analysis on them as possible, but we've just got to go out there and really sort of enjoy playing out there and express ourselves. And does being out there do anything to, to help that? I mean, if you if you look at sort of the, the history between the two sides in this competition in competitive games, it always seems to go, well, it always has gone with, with the home team. Yeah, I think obviously when we played there Friday night, they had a great home crowd, sort of it's a... Uh, a different place to where I've played before, sort of quite an exposed ground uh, with the race with the Greyhound track around the outside. I think it's obviously being here, different type of pitch, will obviously hopefully be a lot quicker game. Again, we've got our home crowd, so I think it'll make for a really good comparison and we're all pretty hopeful that we get the win out there on Sunday. And what's the, the different, how would you sum up sort of their field in terms of how it plays? Obviously we know what ours is about, it's the 3G, it's synthetic, it's a fast track. What's the Connaught feel like? Um, to be fair, when we we went down there on Friday morning, it was blowing a gale, sort of raining a bit, and we thought, oh, yeah, this will be a lot different to KP. But by uh, the evening kickoff, it was pretty still. Um, obviously, it's a bit different playing on grass; it's a bit of a heavier pitch. But other than that, it's just a rugby pitch, isn't it? So I thought they maybe dealt with the surface ever ever so better than us. But I think it was more just our inaccuracies and yeah, ill discipline that really cost us. And it's the last home game before we bury it for Christmas. Is that any edit, any extra added incentive to to try and take a win? Oh, I think definitely. I think getting a big home crowd and then also we obviously move into a few premiership games after this. So boys really want to get a win here so we can sort of roll into that Leicester game on Boxing Day, Bath here on the 2nd of January, 3rd of January. Um, so, yeah, we can sort of build a bit of momentum based on this performance. So... I think there's obviously a little bit of pressure to put in a good performance, but also festive period, so just go out there and enjoy it.